ba ko ensem no mu ala chese busuafo e ya maami bi awo ndi simu gi e kran e ha na bisim e na maami no e ensem ya beto abonti a ye big expose e de ma e ye ndi si amanyu ko no pa nya me enim no kure ni e ye asama e mu odru ye pa fi se how can someone are in na e wo the same party e be make you turn e be expose mu na je se e ye asama e mu odru e mu erem e na mu ari expose ne ba to ho ade maye e ma pinda da jento ba de mama ani eye ne boafo eye professor na na jen opoku ajeman ama bi sun eye na pamfo eso bi se sami janfi ene wona wo toto so awaka ye nsembre no wakuti hana bi si we ni mu asem inti se bosa we jen ne eye ndi si party no ba ye dream no me tumi akokonden no me tumi age eye omaga ne efi mpp party no no me tumi edim pontunjuma ni aho den aho keka abo omaga na dia na chese so mo so omodo mo support e be support oma e chese ye fi fi quote e de sign sam we na e tu ja abra for my presence mama e ko pe mo bosa we jin o se ndi si mpp aba ne ba no oma be se omaga na omaga na atete apan some omaga na ase in some day be bre ene ye fi fi kote ede tu de ye ne ni mse ene shi ye mo ene ye woy sabi in dizi ma ye ko ako to aba eno ena msa ne ye propaganda ni de e ko su ye pa ashe se enye asam ketwa eni nto do fo kame mo ne minu me nya ni yon koti ye e ye in some ye fi fi kote ede tu ya e chere e ye vota wejen se vota wejen fo mo mo nsama yo so mo koto aba asan soma e ye MPP abano in some bebe ene ye fi fi kote ede tu ya e people who believe that election is just about telling any lie for power i mean how do you fight this group now people who can tell you that when they come to power they will give to every constituency one million dollars and they knew that there's no way they can do it but they promise it i mean how do you fight this a group that tells you that when they come to power they will change this economy from tax from taxation to production and they know that there's no way they will do it but for them say anything for power sometimes it sounds as if it's just politics but listen it is bigger than politics it is the very soul of our country that is in jeopardy and you young people you must actually realize the danger that confront the country because of what mpp represents the biggest problem of the mpp is not even their corruption the fact that they are so corrupted this country it's not even their deception what hurts the most is the fact that in addition to all the injury that they have inflicted on the people of ghana they add insult to that injury by telling us that we do not see what is happening and that is the part that kills me often i feel sad for john mahama because when you work so hard and you now have to come back to actually come and take the country from a lower place than you met it in 2009 to now start working again it is sad it is painful but that that is the cross that he has been given and we need to work hard for him to come back so that the beginning of the resetting of our country can happen and for this party to ensure that we work hard so that mpp does not come close to power for a very long time desperation for power is dangerous prof mills often said i am not desperate to become a president nana kufuado showed to this country that when you are desperate for something that belongs that does not belong to you when you get it you destroy not just yourself but you destroy millions of people I see Baumia struggling today to become president of Ghana. Nana Kufuado may be absolutely terrible, but trust me, if I'm given a choice between Nana Kufuado and Baumia, I tell you I'll choose Nana Kufuado over Baumia any day. Because Nana Kufuado may have all kinds of problems. He's arrogant, he's corrupt. All he thinks about is that they should prepare a good speech so that he can read, because that's what he knows how to do. Read a speech. 
Befo Baumia. In dread the year, and I say, we see our voter reading, our mra, a former president, Mahama, or Coco Lanche, and yet the campaign, our voter reading, and now fifty quotes, and it's handsome, same way, a two year, young Conan Cotraso, nine sons or Embra. To fight a people who have no conscience, a people who believe that election is just about telling any lie for power. I mean, how do you fight this group? Now, people who can tell you that when they come to power, they will give to every constituency one million dollars. And they knew that there's no way they can do it, but they promise it. I mean, how do you fight this? A group that tells you that when they come to power, they will change this economy from, taxa from taxation to production. And they know that there's no way they will do it, but for them, say anything for power sometimes it sounds as if it's just politics but listen it is bigger than politics it is the very soul of our country that is in jeopardy and you young people you must actually realize the danger that confront the country because of what mpp represents the biggest problem of the mpp it's not even their corruption. The fact that they are so corrupted this country. It's not even their deception. What hurts the most is the fact that in addition to all the injury that they have inflicted on the people of Ghana, they add insult to that injury by telling us that we do not see what is happening. And that is the part that kills me. Often I feel sad for John Mahama because when you work so hard and you now have to come back to actually come and take the country from a lower place than you met it in 2009 to now start working again, it is sad, it is painful. But that, that is the cross that he has been given. And we need to work hard for him to come back so that the beginning of the resetting of our country can happen. And for this party to ensure that we work hard so that MPP does not come close to power for a very long time. Desperation for power is dangerous. Prof. Mills often said, I am not desperate to become a president. Nana Kufuado showed to this country that when you are desperate for something that belongs that does not belong to you when you get it you destroy not just yourself but you destroy millions of people i see baumia struggling today to become president of ghana nana kufuado may be absolutely terrible but trust me if i'm given a choice between nana kufuado and baumia i tell you i'll choose nana kufuado over baumia any day because nana kufuado may have all kinds of problems he's arrogant He's corrupt. All he thinks about is that they should prepare a good speech so that he can read because that's what he knows how to do. Read a speech. But for Baumia, most is the fact that in addition to all the injury that they have inflicted on the people of Ghana, they add insult to that injury by telling us that we do not see what is happening. And that is the part that kills me. Often I feel sad for